Okay, so this is the 406, 406 megahertz emergency beacon. And let's take it out. So in the top here we've got some packaging. And let's just see what comes with it. Okay, we've got some screws for I would assume for attaching this bracket. We've got a plasticated notice that oh that's got sticky on the back so you're able to peel that off and stick it next to the emergency beacon and it just shows the procedure of taking it out, activating it and then attaching it to something that floats near where you are. Then there's couple of emergency owner registration forms. Uh, you can manually fill these in and then fax them or email them or you can actually fill out these details online so that you don't have to email them in. And even, I think I saw on the box in this particular case, it, has, it actually has the address there which is an amsa.gov.au registration address and it has the uh, instruction manual for the 406 EPIRB. Now we'll come back to that in a moment. So let's just have a quick look at, at the actual EPIRB itself. This, this is the aerial that uh, is flexible and just for storage. It, they've actually put this down so that it'll sit down in there so it just makes it easier to store it. It uh, then goes through the emergency activation procedure on the front here. Uh, it tells you how to switch, switch it off if, uh, if need be, how to do the monthly test. And down here, this is the lanyard. This lanyard wraps around this, the bottom of the, of the EPIRB here. And that's what you'd use in, an, in the case of an emergency to attach, attach this to something that's floating nearby so that the EPIRB stays nearby you. Now, to take it out of this bracket, you just pull that down and then that comes through like that. And then when you look at the side, it's got the UIN number or the hex number for the particular EPIRB which is going to match up with your registration de details and the vessel that, you're, that this is registered to. It also has some other serial numbers there. On the back here it has a warning that this should only be used in absolute emergencies. On the side here it says that this is approved for the COPSAS SARSAT system which is the satellite and ground communication system used for uh, rescue with these 406 EPIRBs. It also has the uh, used by or the replace by date of the battery that's in this particular EPIRB and when you hold the EPIRB you'll feel that it's heavy at the base and the reason why it's heavy at the base is so that it, when it sits in the water it's going to sit upright so that the antenna can use the use a reflection of the water to amplify the signal that it sends out. Okay to, um, to test test this we actually lift that and there's a test button there it says test so we press it and hold it and there you go that flashes a couple of times which means that the battery is fine. In an emergency situation you'd actually you'd actually push that yellow slider across there and once you do that it's going to activate the EPIRB uh, it's going to make the beeping noise it's going to flash and once that's on, then you push it down and then it, then it continues to activate. Just to have a quick look what's covered in the instruction manual. It talks about the general description of the EPIRB. It also covers the COSPAS cost SARSAT system, which as I described is the satellite and the ground communication system. It talks about the registration, which is the important part and how to prevent accidental activation. 
insulation of the bracket so that there's some, this is placed somewhere within easy reach for anyone to grab it should there be a dire emergency. Talks about the emergency procedure, the bracket release and storage which we've covered, the manual activation, uh, how to deploy the EPIRB which we basically covered, how to turn the EPIRB off, what to do in the case of an accident, accidental activation, batteries and maintenance, uh, the safety seal, which was that safety seal which I showed you underneath there, the yellow one. How to test the EPIRB and then the disposal and general specifications. For more hints and tips visit www.liverboardcruiser.com